Welcome to the quick tips video on building your first rover. Let's start by accessing the toolbar config menu and grabbing all the parts we'll need. If some are unavailable, you may need to refer to the quick tips video on progression. We will need the light armor block, the landing gear, the wheel suspension, a cockpit or control seat of your choice, and a battery. Start by equipping the landing gear and looking at a stable build surface. If the landing gear appears massive, press the toolbar number for it again. This cycles blocks between large and small grids. Once placed and welded, it will be magnetically locked to the platform, making an ideal object to build small grids off of. Next, we will create the chassis of our vehicle using the light armor block. After that, it is time for the wheels. There are three sizes of wheels, but for this, we will use the 3x3 wheel suspension. Ensure that the suspension is in the proper orientation shown here. Once placed, the wheel skeleton should appear. If it has not, nearby blocks or voxels may be preventing it. Once all wheels have been placed and welded, the cockpit or control seat is next. The direction of the seat is the direction of travel. Next, the battery is placed, and the rover powers up for the first time. The final step is to grind away the landing gear underneath. The handbrake can be toggled by pressing P. If your rover flips, the easiest way to flip it back over is by welding on some gyroscopes and gently moving the mouse while in the control seat. There are many other ways of powering and charging your rover, such as reactors, solar panels, hydrogen engines, or even just a connector attached to the station. There are also many settings for your wheels in the rover's terminal. Adjust and play with all of them until your rover performs to your liking. The sky is the limit when designing rovers, so use your imagination. And thank you for watching. More quick tips are on the way.